Let's talk about the advantages and shortcomings of the linear versus curvilinear incision for retromastoid craniotomies. I've been using the curvilinear incision for the past few years and believe that it offers significant advantages over the linear incision. Let's go ahead and review the positioning and the um, landmarks for a linear incision in this case. Landmark that is used for planning the incision involves a straight line from the inion to the posterior root of the zygoma. This straight line marks uh, approximately the location of the transfer sinus. The planned incision is one-third above the transfer sinus or this line and two-third below this line. This marking most likely describes the location of the mastoid groove. The major issue with the linear incision is that after the muscle